Let's examine this real quick. It's a lot, man. Can't you figure it out on your own? Hard to tell if it's burning out or not. Of course, now we have the candle. I guess it doesn't really matter that much anymore. Uh, well, I guess not then. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this is freaky. Okay, let's uh, check this out. A bottle full of water. Yes. <laughs> I don't think we're going to need this for anything. Uh, okay, so we got the curtain, the shower curtain, actually. A curtain, huh? Bed. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's got these metal rings, probably, so we can hang it from somewhere. Something, you know? Yes, but it doesn't look like a normal curtain. The way it feels, I think it's probably waterproof. Which would make this a shower curtain. Ding, 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 ding. A shower curtain, eh? Oh, wait, wrong voice. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's look at the bed. Anything under the blanket? Nope. Nothing suspicious here. Nothing at all. Oh, let's see. Something. Two pillows in a pile. Oh. Hmm. Ah. A pile of pillows. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. <laughs> She's all blushing and shit. <laughs> and, oh, no, 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 no. A girl... Oh my what? god! Shut the fuck! Oh my god! Oh my! Oh my! Yo, I can't! Yo, oh my god! Where is this coming from? What is Holy shit, man! I'm telling you, that background I have, the girl with the burning red eyes. Yo, this game is fucking with my head. I'm not kidding you, man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with you. There's nothing there. Why would I'm he say that you. to himself? Like, is your he... your emulator? Ah! Haunted. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my god! That's how he keeps. Scaring the crap out of me. Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Oh my god, my phone is ringing. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, man. You hear this? Yo, what is oh, going on? Oh, scared the crap out of me. Yo, what is going on? Stop it. Just stop it. Oh, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the cable <laughs> got blown out. Dude, I'm glad you're here because I would have freaked out at this moment. <laughs> we should go see. Let's turn our heads to the left. No thanks, but look at this. I, I hate how you can see this like kind of face thing right here. Yeah, it's got two. It looks like it's got eyes and a mouth. Yo, oh my god, man, this is oh, it's too dark to see anything inside, dude. I swear, I always rush through this part because I would get so fucking creeped out at this point. It's too dark to see, and we didn't get to check this out. That's a damn shame. Well, let's take a look at this. Can't stay covered, melted glass top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. You're right. It's so. Oh, pfft, sorry. It's all bumpy. I'm just trying to rush through it because I'm too scared. Right now. Hold on. <laughs> the part of the candlestick where the candle logo looks go looks like a key. Oh, it's a key. Yeah. A key, eh? I think I ran into a lock that couldn't open earlier. No, I ran into a lock that I couldn't open earlier. Yeah, Sandy, you. you just watched. Yeah. You just said some shit. All right, let's open this up. Let's see if this. Yes. Yes, it worked. All nice. kind of stuff's gonna be in here, man. Ooh, another plate. There's a strange design. Is it ceramic? Well, she just said it was Holston. It doesn't look like there are any puzzles in it. Well, that's because this is the puzzle, you fool. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is she talking about? I don't know, man. She's like some kind of weirdo. Alright. How do I get out of it? Okay, okay. <laughs> I, that always fucked me up, because I never knew how to get out of here. I was like, I just want to get out of here, man. I'm on the point of, like, ah. No, I don't want to click on, nah. Okay, you know okay. what's going to be really messed up, though? What? When this game finally does haunt you, and you, like, wake up, and you're in the ship. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no! I don't, I wouldn't want that, seriously. I'm, I'm, I, I, wouldn't, I would not want that. <laughs> All right, pull that shit open. Damn it, Exodus! Now I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have nightmares. Now. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. That's for making me crap my pants at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, tit for tat, is it? Oh yeah. Hey, don't you think the pattern on that looks like something? Seriously, Lotus, stop it. Like she's not funny. Yeah, I think I saw it somewhere. Oh, this guy's just not half as funny as she is right now. Hey, Junpei, you got a minute? Uh, Santa has shown up out of nowhere and gave Junpei no small star. Here, take this. Santa pulled something out of his pocket. Ooh. It looked like a bookmark. It had a four-leaf clover in it. What is this? 
I found it between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure there ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figure we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? Santa gave him a wry smile. <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but, uh... Junpei tried to figure out how best to phrase what he had wanted to say. What does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Santa scratched the back of his ear and looked awkward. Well, see, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So it's a leaf language, I guess. Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words? Jupe looked at the bookmark. Hope, faith, love, and luck. So yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touch me, it gives me the damn creeps. Take the damn thing, alright? Santa pretended to shiver with disgust and shoved the bookmark into Junpei's confused hands. Junpei! What do you want to do? Let's see. What should we do? What do you think? Take it or don't take it? Uh, well, I think four of these clothes are good luck, so let's snatch that thing up. Let's. Decided to take it. After all, why wouldn't he? <laughs> I love the logic behind this guy. <laughs> Alright, sure, I'll take it. He shoved the thing into his pocket and gave Santa a last confused look. Phew, man. I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? <laughs> Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, fate, love, even your destiny. What had happened to Santa, Junpei wondered. How had he become such a bitter person? For a moment, they looked at each other. Alright, we're almost done with the recording, so, uh, so... Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. Ha! Which is funny. <laughs> uh, what, worried about the four horsemen? Nah! Come on, man, that's just silly. Maybe back in the dark ages, that kind of crap scared people. This is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. Then why, don't, why do you hate the four, number four so much? Because it's a half-ass number. <laughs> Not the best or the worst. That's why. That makes no sense to me. What? Nine is a way better number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. Well, what about five? Fuck. Santa's explanation made no sense. <laughs> Jupe was even more confused than before. This guy is so weird. <laughs> you play? Play? You mean like gambling? Or do you, what do you mean? What do you, what do you think we should go with? Uh, well, I would say gambling because Santa doesn't look like he dabbles in the stock market. Yeah, I don't think he does either. Oh, well. You, don't, you mean like gambling? Uh, oops, sorry. Oh yeah, of course. What else would I mean? I don't know. In Baccarat, the best possible hand total is nine. They call it Le Grande. But the lowest, most worthless card, the zeros, they call monkey. Ha! Huh. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? Zero's a monkey. Santa blinked, utterly stunned. Then he began to laugh. <laughs> oh man, you're totally right. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. That was when Lotus spoke up. You know, if you think about it... Oh, drop my fucking glasses. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Namari came is really like a Baccarat. Apparently, she'd been listening. While well, she's standing right next to them. Yeah. Of course, it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. You just drop the ten digit and that's it. Still, it doesn't have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh yeah, I, I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes oh, 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 <laughs> the person who makes nine wins. Did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? Oh wait, I gotta do this. Uh, the exit is hidden, but it is there. Seek the exit. Seek the door that carries a nine. Hmm, so mysterious. So if we want to get off this boat. We have to make a team whose numbers have a digital root of 9. 
and on uh, only the people in the team are gonna make it out alive. Of course, that's messed up. Yeah, that's why it's called called the Nottery Game. <clears throat> what? Huh? You don't know? Nottery means something derived from nine or base nine. Yeah, it's Latin. It's derived from the Latin prefix nono, which means nine. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with the one horn. <laughs> Two is bi, like binary, and your sexuality. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. Binary means composed of two parts. Three is try. I'm sure you've heard that one plenty. Like what they're about to do right now. No, I'm just, oh, yeah. I'm just like trio, triple, and triangle, and menage a trois. <laughs> You got the idea. After that, you have court, quinty, sec, secti, and so on. And octo, nona. Yeah. And of course, the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? No. I see. So then nona means nine. Lotus nodded. So, how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from they... one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Zero said we have nine hours. And finally, to get out of the ship? We need to find a door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with a digital root of nine. Lotus nodded again. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. Oh yeah. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the nonary game. That's sick. <laughs> Somewhere far away, Jupe heard the creak of stressed metal. Oh god, not again. It sounded all Bruce like Zero laughing at him. Or the sad, desperate scream of a pig headed to this low Oh my god, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. We're up to 43 minutes. Uh, we can stop here if you wanted to. Uh, did you have something to do, Water Exes? Or did you want to do this last scene? Or Let's do this last... I gotta see what this ha I gotta see what happens. Oh, I can't. God. Oh, my God. Let's freaking do this, man. Alright, let's do this. There's a tile in the frame. So I guess I'm supposed to put the tiles in the empty spaces. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. Now we gotta rearrange them to the order as it was before. So we're gonna oh. mix this around. Uh... Let's do this. Uh, yeah. Put this down here. No, wait. Sorry. Messed that up. Put this up here. And do we switch this? Yeah. No, I think that's oh. good. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, oh right. Sorry. I, I was thinking this part you can switch, but no, this part doesn't switch. It's this. I we think gotta, it's, we yeah, that one. Yeah, go. Alright, we got it. Yes! I did it! Oh, fuck. There, picture complete. <laughs> and there goes the dynamite. Okay, no, no, it wasn't Boom goes What's dynamite. this? <laughs> what do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a wall. It's a hole in the wall. <laughs> like a hidden safe or something, you know? Anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. Yeah. It's a, a the Mars key. Alright. Whoa! This is one of those Mars symbols. <laughs> The door at the end of the hallway. It has the same symbol engraved on the keyhole. Then that's gotta mean. Yes, we can use this key to get through that door. Hmm. All right. Well, before that, there's another scene before we leave. Junpei messed around a bit with the key yet and looked blankly at the picture that slid down. Oh shit! The music. What's the deal with this picture anyway? Santa had only been mumbling to himself, but it drew Lotus's attention. She looked at the picture and paused. I, I think I've seen this picture before. 